Good morning. We're joined by Mr. Avellino, who's going to announce this week's Class of the Quarter. Also, you seem to look a lot like Hans from the video earlier this week. You know what's funny? I get that a lot. Me and Tom Selleck. <laughs> so, good morning. I am here to announce very proudly the Class of the Quarter. Once again, the Class of the Quarter is based upon professionalism, respect, involvement, diversity, and excellence. And today's Class of the Quarter that we are honoring is Ms. Welch and Mr. Eschbacher's class, Foundations 9, Blocks 1, Days 1 through 4. Congratulations, and keep it up, Spartan Pride. And don't forget, today is Insta Pride Day. Have a great day. Today is January 30th, and it's almost time for the Super Bowl. If sports isn't your thing, don't worry, because there's also the Puppy Bowl at 3 p.m. with a special appearance by Katie Furry for the <laughs> halftime show and Penguin Cheerleaders. How could that get any better? <laughs> However, at 6.30, the Seahawks and Patriots kick off Super Bowl 49, complete with a halftime show by Katy Perry. We'll be right back after, to give you your predictions, our predictions. All are... All art club members involved in the Memory Project turn in your finished portraits into Mrs. DeMonte today as they need to be mailed out by February 1st. Anybody that wants to usher for Pippin, please see Mr. Shatraw as soon as possible. Anyone is welcome and the help would be greatly appreciated. Please stand for your Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all <laughs> officials in Arizona are tracking about 1,000 people right now who have been exposed to the measles after visiting Disneyland there are seven confirmed cases three counties near Phoenix have been warned that if residents haven't received the va vaccination and might have been exposed they should stay inside for at least 21 days. More than 60 people were injured in a blast at a children's hospital in Mexico City after a gasoline tanker truck exploded. The explosion occurred when a hose burst when the truck was giving natural gas to the hospital. We're now joined by the sports team to talk about our morning show's official Super Bowl predictions. So Matt, who do you think will win the coin toss? Okay, well, really hard to decide who I think is going to win the coin toss. I think that's the toughest prediction for me. Um, I'm just going to go with the Seahawks because it's really based on what, where the coin is going to land anyway. So that's who I think is going to win the coin toss. Yeah, I kind of hope for the Seahawks uh, that they start off with the ball. So I'll say Seahawks. What about you, Mitt? I'm going to say the Seahawks. It's just pure luck. What do you think about turnovers? Honestly, you know, I, I think the Seahawks... Um, well, actually, the Patriots will turn the ball over the most times because the Seahawks have a strong defense, and I think defense wins games. So. All right. What about you? I agree with Matt. I think the Patriots are going to turn the ball over the most, mostly from what I've seen from Brady. And he's right. Patriot, or, or sorry, the Seahawks have a strong defense. They definitely do. And Tom Brady, he has been battling a cold this week, and there's been some controversy surrounding him. So I feel like he's going to um, possibly turn the ball over more then he might just because of his whole, all the psyche going around, all the controversy. Yeah, a lot of pressure. The yeah, last couple of Super Bowls, it seems like he's choked in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I think he's a little overrated. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what do you guys, who do you think will get the first flag? Um, I don't know, probably New England. Yeah, probably yeah, the Patriots. All right, and then um, what do you think the score will be at halftime? Well, on the side, me and Katie made our predictions, and we think maybe the by halftime the Patriots will be up 17 to 13, and then hoping by the end of the game the final score will be Patriots 36 and in New England I and mean, Seattle 27. So you're predicting that the Patriots are going to win? Yes. Okay. Well, I hope not. I hope that the Seahawks come out with being the champions. I don't know about you. Uh, I think so too. I think uh, Patriots. Should get punished for that a lot. Yeah. The flight yeah. of gate, but. Well, speaking of punishment too, Marshawn Lynch. Um, what do you think about his fines that he uh, has been threatened with? I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's just uncomfortable with the media, so mm -hmm. I kind of understand what he's going through if he's uncomfortable with that. Right. Yeah. I don't really agree with how uh, he's been forced to go to these media appearances. Clearly, the man doesn't want to talk. 
You know, and it's kind <laughs> of ridiculous. I think sometimes the media can get a little over involved and stuff Definitely, sometimes because yeah. not everybody's comfortable in front of those cameras. Right. I think they're portraying him as, you know, kind of a bad character where I don't really think he deserves it, you know? That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, thanks for coming on and giving your predictions. We'll see how it turns out. Temperatures will progressively get colder throughout the day because of an Arctic cold front. Later, there will be some lake effect snow showers with the possibility of one to three inches of snow. Today will begin in the 20s but drop down to the teens. This weekend will stay in the teens and Monday will cool down even more due to another Arctic cold front. Today is National Croissant Day. I'm Ellie with your W750 Mother Report. There will be a mandatory girls lacrosse meeting after school Wednesday, February 4th in room B14. You must attend to get necessary paperwork to play in the spring. The varsity volleyball team pulled out a squeaker beating CBA last night. Leading the team was McKenna Abbott with 15 kills, as well as almost making the coach fall off the bench with two blocks. Katie Mangowski was behind with 11 kills and three aces, while Sarah Coolis had 10 kills and four amazing blocks. The kills couldn't have happened without Setter Sam Labello, tallying up 35 assists and 5 service aces. This finishes their regular season. Now to get ready for sectionals. Turning to the NHL, the Sabres lost to the Oilers 3-2. In the NBA, the Knicks fell to the Pacers 103-82. I'm Karen Grable, the W715 Sports Report. Well, don't forget to watch the Super Bowl. It should be a great game, but... Honestly, I think the Puppy Bowl is going to be a little bit better. It's going to be more exciting. <laughs> well, we'll see. I mean, I definitely want the Seahawks to win, but if the Patriots somehow manage to pull away and it's not even a game, uh, I'm hoping it's not like a Super Bowl like na last year. Also, I want to say congrats to Colin Sloan because you won our contest to win a ticket to the charity basketball game on Saturday. From myself and everyone on the morning show, have a great weekend.